All right, so look, here's the thing. I can't talk very loud, but because we're still fighting this, uh, whatever this plague thing is, this cold, cough, flu, whatever. Everybody's got it in the family, but I'm going to power through it for you guys. So what we're going to look at today is something we've been wanting to do for a very long time for the cabin, and that is get a small solar panel system. So I'm going to show you what we picked up. Um, we're pretty excited about it. Our budget for this project was about a thousand dollars. We went a little bit over, about a thousand eighty, just because we needed to buy some extra stuff. And I'm, I'm going to go through here and see if there's anything else we need to get uh, to complete it. So I'm going to kind of mock this system up here in the yard, so that when we go up to the cabin, I'll know exactly what to do. And I also want to make sure that none of these components are broken. Sometimes when you get these things, you, you just don't you just don't know if they're going to work. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to. Um, test everything and, and make sure it works so I'm gonna kind of go over everything we got and kind of show you the system that we picked up all right so we went with the Renogy system on Amazon which is the 200 watt system I'll show you that right now so we got two panels 100 watts a piece this is um, pretty good value we did upgrade the charge controller to the MPPT style and this is supposed to be like 30% more efficient so we did go with that so we could upgrade this system right here we could upgrade this system right here to 400 watts if we wanted to um, at 24 volts. So um, that should be pretty good. So um, what we're thinking is we'll start out with this system and then if we need to upgrade it, add a couple more panels later, we can. Um, so it gives us a little bit of leeway, but the, honestly what we're trying to run is light, maybe a small microwave, and then we have a really low power 32-inch um, TV that we got so the kids can watch it and have a good time up there. So. Um, I'm going to test that out too at some point because we just got that in um, but it's very energy efficient so mainly we just need lights so it's really this is going to be probably overkill for what we actually need but it's going to be nice for charging up batteries for tools and power tools and stuff like that so um, we're looking forward to it and I'm going to show you kind of I'm, I'm going to kind of open this up and just check to make sure everything's here so I haven't gone through everything so um, again I apologize for my voice it's shot I'm I'm talking real quiet because it really hurts. I've been coughing all night and all day. So we're going to go through and just make sure everything's here in the boxes. And I'll, yeah, I'll see what's here. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure everything's here and, and we will uh, open it up together. See what we got. They give you a charger. And we got the 20 amp MPPT charger. Renogy. Variety. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we have a controller. I think that this is the battery temperature sensor. That's pretty important. Forward, put your uh, positive, negative solar panel into it. One thing I don't know is if they need to be merged together. I don't really know how that's gonna work, how, how those controls work, but that's why I'm doing this and then your battery positive and negative. So I'll get the battery here in a second. And then we also have an inverter, which I'm probably not gonna hook up today because I don't have any cables for it. But this is a 1200 watt Ames power inverter. So it has an automatic switching uh, transfer switch. When I turn the generator on, it runs generator power in the cabin. When I turn the generator off, it'll run off the battery. It does not have a charger. So when the generator's on, it will not charge the batteries, like some of them. But you know, the price was pretty good. These are under $200, so it's pretty amazing. And uh, it's hard wire capability, so I can run this right into the right into the cabin wiring, no problem. So I'm just gonna basically run this right into the, uh, right into the, to the um, box at the cabin. So that should, that should work out really well. Probably won't get to that right now. I also have a fuse. I also have an inline fuse. Kind of bummer. It's kind of a bummer. They don't. They only give you two black wires. That makes it kind of confusing. It should be red and black or white and black. I think. I also got a kill switch, so I'll be able to shut the system off. But I'll have to modify some stuff to do that. Okay. 
So we got 12.9 12 volts. Looks like it's working. Okay, now the sun's going down. Or if it freaks out. Okay, what are we doing here? Are we getting anything? Any juice? We got it. We're in the shade now, aren't we? Ah. Yeah. All right, let's. Can we get him in the? We can get him in the sun. We're good. Oh, that's close. Here we go. Here we go. There's sun, pretty much. Is it charging. Mm -hmm. Is it saying 13? 12 volt. 13.1, and charging in. That's cool. So it works. Look at the panels are lit up, right there. The battery's lit up. So that's pretty cool. Um, the initial test really works well. Um, I was concerned because these were pumping out about 43 volts, but um, I believe they're 12 volt panels and their nominal is like 18 volts. So I'm getting every bit of 18 volts in here per panel. And this is a 24 volt, well it's a 12 and a 24 volt controller. So it senses whether it's 24 or 12 and it just figures it out. So I can run, if I run two panels, if I run four, if I run two more panels then I gotta, hire, I gotta put them in parallel. And so I'll have a 24 volt parallel system. So I have to get some connectors and stuff. But right now I should be able to run these things in series like they are right now and it looks like I'm still getting plenty of juice so that's about all we can do today I'm gonna put this thing away um, I'll probably leave some of it hooked up put the sensitive stuff back inside um, but obviously the battery's charging just fine um, and then tomorrow or some point soon I'm gonna check the inverter but I've got to get a couple things to make that work I gotta get some cables to go to go in there and then to be careful I have to put a fuse right here so I'm gonna have to split that at some point on the positive and I'm gonna put a fuse in there so I don't burn these things up um, just in case something gets backwards so I got one of those just in case and also got a kill switch so that's all I have today guys uh, my voice is pretty much done um, looks like so far so good this would be a real easy system to set up as far as the panels go um, but uh, yeah that's gonna be pretty cool so Still charging, sun's going down, so probably not going to charge too much longer. It'll be cool to watch that happen. So, talk to you guys later.